David, you've been there to look at the pharmacies and the Greek medical business. How bad is it? Well, we heard anecdotally yesterday that uh, people avoid public hospitals as much as possible. A lot of doctors who have worked there have moved on to private facilities. I was in a pharmacy this morning talking to Giannis Papadopoulos, a pharmacist there, and he said the problem with this deal is most acute for pharmacists. Now, I'll mention, Tom, everyone I talk to, be it a taxi driver, a pharmacist, a small business owner of any stripe, says that. This is hurting him or her the most. Uh, but he said he's an independent business owner. It's just him and his wife. So he's feeling this particularly acutely when it comes to the capital controls and the taxes that have been proposed. Uh, David Gura, over the course of the weekend, there was so much news. Were the, were the Greek people, you know, watching every second of it? Or, or have they sort of given up understanding what's going on on a second-by-second -second basis out of Brussels? No, I think people are following it. They have been following it. When I went out this morning after the deal was announced, people seemed very willing to talk about a deal, if not perhaps the deal. I think the contours of it, the details of it are still coming out. Uh, this pharmacist I spoke with, for instance, uh, knew sort of what was coming in broad strokes. Maybe he didn't know how much the sales tax was going to go up, how much this was going to affect his business in granular detail. But again, he was aware of sort of what was going to happen down the line. David, are, are there any other commodities, things that come in from abroad in Greece that are in short supply? Gas, for example? You know, I was at a gas station yesterday asking about that, and the clerk there said that Greece has about nine months' worth of petrol left, uh, so that doesn't seem to be a problem. But what you're seeing is these capital controls are changing the way that Greeks make their decisions about what they do. So you have people who are not driving as much, perhaps, as they had been, not spending the amount that they're able to get from the banks on gas as they would have before.